Royal Golf Club de Belgique, Brussels, Belgium. A match over 18 holes between Flory Van Don, winner of more than 40 international championships. All golfers. Notice the way he finishes, always in perfect balance. He has a very fine swing. How'd you manage to get the shaft on that thing so long? Well, George, I put in a plug there so the putter would be as long as a two iron. What did you do that for, Floyd? So I would stand up more uh, upright, Gene. Get a little better line on the ball that way? Yes, not so crutched down. We were joined by one of Belgium's most avid golfers, former King Leopold. Here's Flory Van Donk, fresh from that very nice birdie three on the ninth hole, and right now enjoying a three-shot lead, every inch the picture of a confident player. You want to keep your tee shot here a little bit to the right, but not too much. And Flory has had a nice little fade right straight down the center of the fairway. And uh, the tee shot couldn't be in, in any, any better, better position, position than that. That is what. Roy Van Donk's tee shot really opened up the green here on number 10. He hit it uh, in the center of the fairway, 255 yards from the tee. He will play a nine iron. Very, very little breeze here. We'll see if he'll hit this high in the air or just try to punch it up on the front edge of the green. He punched it. He punched it right at the pin, carries it on the front edge of the green and rolls it past, and there is another great approach shot by Van Donk. The par 4, 398-yard 11th offers a blind tee shot over a rise to a dogleg right. Flory opened his stance slightly to fade the ball around the corner. He hit a good-looking tee shot, but the ball kicked off a mound in the fairway into light rough on the right. Tree. He faded a 7-iron, trying to hold the ball into the right-to-left wind and succeeded in reaching the front portion of the green. This is a tricky little par of the day with a crosswind blowing from right to left. Uh, the ideal thing here would be to fade the ball and just cut it in from left to right and try to hold it into the wind. Notice the fine order with which these players get set to play a shot. They fix the grip properly, then line up the face of the club, line their body up with that, and they're automatically aimed. Flory has hit a great big high fading shot coming in very close to the pin. There is a beauty. Flory, leading by three strokes, could afford to risk hitting his driver. He tried to fade the ball. Flory found himself in trouble once again. Flory, what were you trying to do on the tee there? Keep it to the right side or what? No, I just stared the ball there, and uh, this is the uh, probably the most uh, difficult uh, driving hole of the course. What are you going to use here? Well, I'm going to hit the ball out there with a forward. Forward? Yes, well, sir. Well, good luck to you. Thank you.
Flory again opened his stance to slice the ball around the trees. An incredible recovery, this time to within 80 yards of the green. Flory matched par, while Dave bogeyed to slip six over par, and again four shots behind. Well, the little uh, rain showers have now completely stopped, and once again, the sun is out quite brightly. Floyd Van Donk with the honor here on the 17th. And believe me, this is a man-sized par four hole. Beautiful shot, just a beautiful shot. Nice, soft, left to right fade, and he put it in the dead center of the fairway. That's a honey. Well, to show you what kind of a par four hole the 17th is, Van Donk hit his tee shot 280 yards, and he still has a five iron left. Flory cuts it up toward the... Well, this is the home hole. Flory Van Donk retains the honor, of course, and with a lead of four strokes, I imagine he will be plugging away at the green. You can reach the screen if you hit it very hard and very straight. It has a narrow entrance to it. Well, he is going to carry it up on the top of the rise, and he'll get good run on the ball. He will not reach the green. He runs it down just short and in front of the green, and boy, he busted that tee shot. He hit that almost three. Flory, who really has been driving the ball well, particularly on the back nine, laced one out there, about 275 or 80 yards, and he's right at the entrance to the green. And watch this shot. He plays this little nine-iron pitch and run. He is a master of this shot. There it is, very low. Just carrying it almost out of the front of the green. Almost hit Mars' ball and almost hit the pin and finished about 10 or 11. Flory Van Donk has asked Dave Marr to mark his three-foot putt. Flory has about a, a 10 or 11-footer downhill. Flory birdie three. We'll remind you again that par here at the Royal Belgique is 73. 73 is par. Right now, Flory is two over par. So he has two putts for 75, one for 74. And that is a 74. One over par for Foy Van Donk. He's the winner. He picks up $3,000 in prize money. He's at the home hole of 78 for Dave Marr. In order to avoid this type of shot, I tried to remember during my address to stay perfectly still over the ball. Now watch the action of my hips. On the backswing, I rotate my hips away until my back faces the hole. On the downswing, I pivot my hips around the fixed axis. This keeps my head behind the ball and prevents the forward sway which results in smothering.